Hello there, peeps. This is Wattacat of the Aspie Gamer once again, and it's time to start up a new series. Well, okay then. Bubble power! So I'm going to be perfect running Kirby Squeak Squad. So let's dive right into this, shall we? That's actually not the sa save file. There we go. Early afternoon in Dreamland. It's so peaceful that even the clouds are drowsy. And now it's Kirby's favorite time of the day, snack time! Today's yummy snack is a sweet fluffy slice of strawberry shortcake. Time to dig in. Or not. And the cake has vanished. So obviously Kirby goes to the only... immediately jumps to conclusions and points fingers at the only person he's known to steal food. Yep. DDD. I think this takes place directly after Dreamland 1 in that case. Well, gotta get that cake back. Yep. This adventure begins over a cake. And so... It begins. So, first let's run over Kirby's abilities. He can jump, he can hover and spit air puffs, and slide, dash, basically all the same as in Kirby's Adventure. However, his inhale has a few different properties. If you hold the inhale long enough, it'll turn into the super inhale, which allows him to inhale bigger objects, and it also increases the range a bit, but it also tires him out quickly, meaning it's actually more of a nerf than a buff. Basically it means he just can't, he can't just inhale anything. There are things that resist inhale. So the rules for the perf for perfect running are I'm going to be doing no damage overall and I'm going to be doing no ability where possible. There are going to be some places where I'm going to have to use an ability in order to avoid damage uh, in this game that I know about, but where possible I'm going to go with no ability. And one-ups. There's also, in this game, a feature on the bottom screen where you get to mix um, abilities, but that won't really be useful for the perfect runs, since why I didn't uh, really elaborate on it there. And that's the end of the first stage. And bubbles. We're not going to be making use of that. I might do some mixing along the line, though, just to, just for the heck of it, see what I get. And mixing a cherry and a chicken gives us oh, a Maxim tomato. I've also heard it called a metamato, but I just usually call it Maxim tomato because of Smash Brothers. No, thank you. Let's take this treasure with us. I'm not going to be going after all the treasure in this Perfect Run series because there are going to be cases where I can't grab treasure since I need an ability, but after the series is over, after I finish the final stage, I'm going to have a short series where I collect everything. Just for completion purposes. Ah, just missed the Max and the Mato. Oh well.
And stage three. Oh, and I guess I should mention one thing. For the Perfect Run series, I'm going to be doing this by world rather than by stage, just because I used I tried by stage with Adventure once on my old channel. Let's just say it became too tiresome. That thing became a Gordo. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> Didn't know they could do that. There's also a feature where if you have the a bubble an ability called bubble and you you can turn uh characters or nine you can turn enemies into abilities with without abilities into star bubble stars that you can pop at any time so that you can use spit out stars even when you, you have an ability which is a feature I like but I don't think I'll be making use of stored abilities for free stars, in this case. So, Mr. Frosty is nothing major. Just Mr. Frosty. Easiest mid-boss ever. Yee. <laughs> and there's the inhale getting in the way, as I said before. And Scarfies, you cannot inhale them, so just spin an air puff at them. Thankfully, they don't explode like they did in, uh, in, uh, Kirby's Adventure and basically in the Game Boy games. Um, they, they only explode if they have chased you as a transformed Scarfy. Which, if you don't try to inhale them or don't damage them without killing them, you won't need to worry about. Let's get rid of you. Probably could have just slid under him, though. And animal. I you can use animal to dig down here, but again, no abilities, so we won't be getting that treasure chest. A feeling. Yep, here. Okay, so hi there, Daroch and the rest of the squeaks. And hello, Spinny. Here, you want this chest? You can have it. Please take it. I don't want it. Not right now, anyway. I just, I just don't want to have to deal with the squeaks. They're not that bad, but they're bad enough that since I can avoid dealing with them, I, whenever I can avoid dealing with them, I'll gladly take it. Interestingly enough, due to this game's coding, it's the only one where you can go through a door or even to another level with something in your mouth and it won't be spat out. That gives you an idea of how <clears throat> excellent this game's coding is and how the third party that was designing this game had absolutely every idea in the world of what they were doing. But it's... It could be worse. I'm not gonna deal with you. The, yeah, the, this game does have some quirks to it that are can be beneficial, or in the case of uh, the shoddy engine design, uh, rather hindering. But, like I said, it, it's not the worst thing in the world, but the physics and control aren't quite the best in this game, which is going to plague me later on. Oh, didn't want to grab that. I am not allowing myself to use Invincibility Candy for the purposes of this series, so I'm just gonna let this run out. As long as I don't hit any enemies with it. Actually, I... yeah. Now I can progress onward. Sure, it's not a big deal in a room like this, as I could have just flown over everything anyway, but... It, I just don't want to use invincibility candy. It's a neat, it's a neat thing 
to have in a Kirby game, but it's a challenge, man. And there's another one of those treasure chests that I do not want. Leave those chests out of my sight. I don't want to have to deal with the squeaks. And we get spray paint. Spray paint is a feature I wish would return in future games. So gee, what could be the hard part? What's so difficult about this level? I mean, we're just climbing up, right? Let's get rid of this. Might as well see what's up here real quick. Oh gee, look at that, a chest. At least these ones that Squeaks will not chase me for. And that's the end of the level. Yeah, that was it. So, what was the point of that level again? Just for a treasure chest? Okay, cool. Now then, time for the boss battle. And since we're at DDD Castle, we know who it is, but... Well, let's do a bit of item mixing, just to see what I get. Bomb. Okay. Well, let's hope I don't bomb this. So, DD is nowhere near as threatening as he used to be. He is has been downgraded to first boss status in place of Wispy. And that's that. That that's really it. Poor DDD. Oh well. With that, we're done with World 1. What's this? Someone's stolen King DDD's treasure chest. Of course, he doesn't know a thing about the strawberry shortcake. So what's really going on? Who's behind the disappearing shortcake? It's the Squeaks! We've already met them. With treasure chests in tow, they begin to march jauntily away. King D acts as quick as a wink. <laughs> I don't think that DDD was doing that to help Kirby. <laughs> and into a chasm. Surely the shortcake... Kirby had a one-track mind in this game, wow. Kirby's quest isn't quite over yet, even though we've beaten DDD. That it that was just the first world after all. And they try to throw us straight into the next stage, but uh, that's the end of World 1, so enjoy extra synaptics and difficulty analysis. And no ability where possible. Let's try that again. And so the series continues. Sure, I still need to go back and do adventure sometime, but eh, later. Now for the raid. What'd you expect? It is a first world after all. That one outtake only happened because I wasn't paying proper attention. Other than that, there's nothing really here that can cause any problems in a perfect run. Not even DDD. Poor DDD. I feel so bad for him in this game. First Kirby blindly accuses him of something he didn't do, and then his fight is much easier than even Superstars. You can't help but feel sorry for the guy. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you all next time. It's good to be back. And with that, bye ya!